you've just finished with fitting your mock-up and you're wondering, what do I do now, this is for you. Uh, first thing you need to do after you fit your mock-up is if you've made any changes to the front or the back or wherever you've had your opening that you're pinned into, make sure that as you get out, when you take your pins out, keep note of exactly where it was and leave your pin in your fabric because this will help keep your line marked. Alternately you could uh, draw a line with a pencil if this is just a mock-up and you're not worried about drawing on it. Um, I made some changes so I'm going to be carefully leaving all of my pins right where I had them. And now we'll go trace this onto some paper. Alright, so now I've got my mock-up off of the dress form, and I've got my paper pattern ready to go. Uh, the first alteration I'm going to look at is these side seam alterations I have. So you're going to need a ruler and try to measure how much of an alteration you've got, and it may not be the same all the way down. So mine is about three quarters of an inch by the arm's eye, about the same by the waist, but by the hem, it's only about a quarter of an inch. So, then I'll need my front and my side pieces, because that's between these two. And I can mark that, but that three quarters of an inch is really going to shrink down my side piece by a lot. So what I'm going to do is do the math on how much I need to take out of my bodice altogether at the top, the middle, and the bottom. And then I'm going to divide that by how many pieces I have and put a little bit of that shaving off on each piece, which will shrink down all of my pieces instead of just taking it out of this little piece, which would get really tiny. All right, so I worked out the math on our side pieces. So our top edge needs to come in about an inch and a quarter on each side. And because your pattern's only half of your bodice, you don't need to worry about how much it is overall. Um, and don't forget that this is double whatever that measurement is because you have it on both sides. Um, so I have one and a quarter inches I need to take out along this edge here. And that comes out to about five sixteenths per piece. Because I have four pieces, so if I want to shave off a little bit evenly from each edge of each piece, it'll be just like a smidge over an eighth of an inch off of each side. And I did the same math for the middle and the bottom. Um, so I'm just gonna mark that out. exactly the same all the way down when I get to where it changes so it's much it's a much smaller amount at the bottom than it is at the top I just kind of gradually slope them together until they make a nice smooth line and then do that for all of your pieces.
next thing I'm going to look at is that I made some alterations to the front line of my bodice. Now this has half an inch seam allowance, so mostly it's still half an inch. And taking out maybe just a little bit right in the middle, it's about an extra quarter of an inch. So I'm just gonna lift that out here. And again, try to slope your lines so they're not too pointy. Um, then, because I want to be able to measure to, from the bottom to where this mark is, I want to check how much I folded up on the hem first so I can get an accurate measurement from the bottom of my paper pattern, which is still down to here. So, I noticed that in the back, I kept it at my half inch seam allowance. So I really only made this change just on the front piece. So, I'm going to take off about a half an inch, a little bit in. And I just like to kind of go gradually and mark at points I can find easily on my pattern. So my first dart over from my side seam, I can see is about an inch and a half up from where my line is. So I can mark an inch and a half on my pattern. My second dart is also about an inch and a half up. And the point was way too long. I'm taking about two and three quarter inches up off of that point. So now what I want to do is make this a nice curve back over to where I want my new line to be. Now you don't have to use your pin marks as absolute gospel truth. If something looks a little funny on your paper, you know, you might not have pinned it perfectly evenly. So like this mark seems a little bit high. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower than that. And I think I still want a little bit more of a point. line marked. Now we're going to see how much we need to take out. So it looks like I've got about a half an inch on the double, which means what I really need is to take an inch out of my waist all the way around. So I'm going to mark an inch above my waistline that I just drew. And then you're going to fold it up to your new line. And that will shorten your bodice right at your waistline. Now you'll notice it won't line up perfectly 
on your edges now. So your next step is to trace out new copies of all your pattern pieces. And that will help you smooth these away. Um, usually what I like to do first is cut away everything I've drawn with my red line to show that I don't want that anymore. And if I was going to trace this onto a new piece of paper, I would make sure I keep this folded up and just trace around it as is and then it will be easy for you to mark your new lines where you need to. Make sure if there's any darts or any other markings that you transfer those as well. And don't forget to mark out your grain line because that can be really important when you're cutting your pieces out. So right here I've got this little gap. I think I'm just going to smooth that off. Just so you can see this better. So I'm just going to nip this off and then I can label this, and this piece is ready to go. And I just do the same with all the other pieces. Make sure you cut off anything that you no longer want, and then just trace a clean piece of paper just so that you don't have to worry about getting confused by any of your markings for making alterations. And then you'll have a nice, beautifully fitted pattern ready to go.